Every cell in your body needs oxygen to function. Oxygen moves from your lungs into your blood, which carries it to the rest of your body. People living with lung disease often have oxygen levels that are lower than normal. When levels drop to 88% or below, a healthcare provider may order supplemental oxygen. There are many oxygen delivery systems available. What you receive is determined by your lifestyle, the level of oxygen your healthcare provider orders, and what's available through the oxygen company. Before you enter into a contract with an oxygen company, ask your healthcare provider to make sure the equipment offered by the supplier is correct for you. Your healthcare provider may recommend a pulse oximeter to monitor your oxygen levels at home. Ask what your target oxygen level should be. If directed by your healthcare provider, you can adjust the flow of oxygen for different activities to keep your level in the recommended range. Continuous flow means that oxygen flows continuously into your nose, usually through a nasal cannula. Pulse or demand flow, on the other hand, has a regulator that senses when you inhale and only delivers a pulse of oxygen when you breathe in, allowing tanks and batteries to last longer. Continuous flow and pulse settings are both prescribed as a number. A continuous flow setting of two, three, or four liters per minute is not the same as a pulse or demand flow setting of two, three, or four. Safety is an important issue when it comes to using oxygen. Avoid flames, sparks, cigarettes, matches, lighters, gas stoves, pilot lights, hair dryers, and frayed electrical cords. Remember that oxygen is not flammable and does not explode on its own, but it will make a fire burn faster. Store tanks in an upright position. Do not use broken or cracked tanks. Do not store tanks in a closet, in direct sunlight, or next to heat sources. Check with your healthcare provider for nasal lubricants designed for oxygen users. There are a number of things to remember about using supplemental oxygen. Your healthcare provider can help make sure that you're using it safely and effectively. If you have more questions or want more in-depth materials on supplemental oxygen, visit pulmonaryfibrosis.org.